Right. It's a new day. We've still got big decisions to make. You all have not helped me at all decide what we're going to do with the business. It is 8 o'clock. We've got $24,000 on hand. And we're still deciding between moving across the street and having this store in a small storeroom, which part of me is thinking we had one shelf, two shelves, three. We could probably have four, so actually one, two, three. We could probably have four shelves in here. And it is a different neighborhood. Or this one. There be are we gonna need that much stock? I know it's cheaper to go to that one. I feel like Hell's Kitchen. Thirty forty five. I mean it's double the traffic. It's just a little bit more car traffic. I meant foot traffic. So we'd have to have double the size. I'm really debating toward the Hell's Kitchen one. But I think we'll get another day in before we make a big decision. I don't even know what I need to do now. I mean, it's... I think I'd have to name it Beer America 2. And make it a new store. And then once we get it up and running... Or get it ready to run... We'd have to, but I think we do. We may need to make some more money before we jump into that. Oh my God! Look at our shelves. We do need to go buy some cigars today, I'd say. Soda, wine, and beer. I have to go buy some more stuff. The beer shelves are filled up, so that's good. We got here margarita, whiskey, martini. So yeah, we need to go. Let's go, but we'll go buy some more cigars. And we'll look at some stuff. And then we'll let everybody do their job today. And I'll kind of just stay out of the way. Oops, don't need this. We'll stay out of the way and let them do what they do. But somebody told me to double check my ices because it seems like you all have left me astray because it's never my fault. Oh, wine has went up. Well, let's go $28 for this. Looks like sodas went up too. So yeah, actually I'll go 29 and we'll see if anybody buys it. Okay, it's getting ready to open. I'll have to stand here and see if anybody's going to come. Get, uh, did we not fear the martinis? What's going on here? I might have to buy more stuff today than I thought. Okay, well, they buy wine. Yep. They're still buying wine at 29. What about what if we go 30? Now there's a mathematical formula I could probably follow to figure out the max, but I just kind of like doing it this way. It makes me feel better about life. Is that, is, that, is that a fact? No, not really, but. Okay, let's. Dude, it's not for wine. It doesn't help me if they don't go for wine, and I can't test my hypothesis. We're doing science here. Here comes another person. Let's see if they go to the wine. Two people. Uh uh. Three people. Uh, uh, I still think we we need to do the bigger. Ooh. Yeah, she totally got that off there. So maybe I go up even more. We need to get more bags, it looks like. 
All right. Um, 31 is going to be too much. And I'm going to try it anyway. I can already sense 31 is too much. So we'll buy some cigars today. We'll buy some other things. Because we are looking meager in the back. It's like wine. Definitely need wine. We need beer. We're just going to get a little bit of everything. We're okay on whiskey. So besides whiskey, we're low on everything. I really need to see if people... See, I can't speed up time while I'm standing here. That's the, that's the sad part. So I kind of have to wait here in the background and just stare like a creepy manager does. Just to see if people take something off the shelf. Oh, this man is not buying what I want to buy. We, we could almost have $30,000 today. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. My God, he bought it at 31. Um... Is there a shortage of like wine going on or something? Is that is that what? Ooh, on the rocks. It's the nightclub that was across the street. That's what's open right now that we can take. Oh no, wine's just through the roof. So we may be able to go up another dollar. But yeah, I'm gonna have to start paying attention to that. I wish they gave you like notifications that stuff that you were selling did that all right so we get it marked up to 32 let's see if that people buy that nope okay 32 is too much okay so we'll go back to 31 and uh be done with it let's go buy some stuff is there anything in here oh there is oh well we don't need to buy wine. That's one good thing we could be sure of. I'll just bring all this wine in and then we'll go buy everything else. I didn't realize that I had eight wine just creeping out here. Game. Did not want to put that in. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll make money this first day and then I'm gonna make a decision. I do kind of want to expand the business and make it bigger from what we have. But I know it's a big investment. I mean, you're talking shelves and stuff and even just moving stuff back and forth across the street. If we do that over there, it's going to be a big, big, big fiasco. Okay. Let's go shopping. So now we need everything but wine and whiskey. The two W's. They're like cigars and everything are a definite. So we can sit here and just kind of rock out as we go. Y'all having fun? Y'all having fun? If you're having fun, hit that like button. Sure. Dead. I was having a great time until the UPS man just smashed into the side of my vehicle. I could not wait. <laughs> could not wait to read the comments on this now. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this my timing? I try so hard to put on a good product and then that happens. <laughs> oh my lord that was the perfect just the perfect accident all right well now that the whole side of our thing is smashed in we're now at 68 percent it did fill our gas back up i do hope they fix that aspect of the game i'm really excited to see what i'm still we're still waiting on the next patch that's why i didn't record any over the weekend i thought the patch would be here on monday which is today but i guess everybody took the day off for the eclipse so that door just damaged me a lot. 
All right. Well, good thing we bought wine. Oh my God, cigars are through the roof. That's a very high price for them. We're definitely only going to buy one box of those. I keep hitting E to get out of the vehicle. You'd think that would work, but guess what? It doesn't. Get some paper bags. I always want to keep those on hand. In a, minute, in a, in a while, too, we need to... Why didn't I get the thing? The dolly. We'll have to set up a distribution center. That's going to be the biggest thing. But I think I want to be, move into the bigger place before we do that. So if we're bulk ordering things. All right. Here. Uh, aim. There you go. Let's get some margaritas. And let's get some martinis. We have two more storage. We don't need whiskey. We don't need wine. I guess I'll get pop. Because we... We sell quite a bit of that. It's down pretty cheap. All right, I'm going to leave that right there. They'll be fine with it, I'm sure. All right, we'll catch out. So, oh, my God, they set up an obstacle course of UPS trucks. They know my weakness now. So, yeah, at some point, we're going to have to set up a warehouse, which is what, like, that is, and what these are through here. And after we do that, we get like, we'll have to set up an HR building as well, like an office. We'll have to rent one of those. So we pick up like a big, like when you set up your supply chain. But like I said, I think I want to move into the bigger business first. Like that's just my goal. I think doubling our income every day and having, like if we're making 4000 now, I think we can bring in 10,000 easy a day, even if we double our employees, because I think we would have to at that point. And I think we need to do that in that bigger business. Where's my cleaning lady at? Good Lord. You gotta be coming in here soon. I think three o'clock when she comes in. Let's get the soda cans, cigars, and my, oh, oh, and the paper. Stock her up on some cigars on the shelf, and then I guess the paper bags will now go over here. Okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but that is going to be an investment. We're going to have to buy more shelves. Let's get this beer, bring it in. The Stone Code Steve Austin's happy if he shows up. I do think beer goes on this shelf though, doesn't it? Yeah, unfortunate. We put so much wine on it. I have to go on this one now. I mean, you're going to have to have designated shelves for wine and probably some of the other stuff because there's just going to be so much inventory. I'll look at that building again. And then I'll decide. But I think the one across the street's the one I want to because I think it's just going to be easier. <clears throat> It'll be easier to move to. It'll be easier to maintain. And then this one I think I'll let go. No, I don't. Mm. I really get tired of just throwing my hand cart into the vehicle. I don't have to do some math. Oh, we don't have the room for this. What? Put you right there. 
I wish you could stack boxes. That's fine. Oh. Place looks like it got cleaned up. That's nice. I guess my cleaner's here. You don't see her though. Alright. So let's see. Can I walk over here and look at this place? Available for rent. I mean, having checkouts, like, just, you could double row everything just over on the side of the store and have your checkouts over here, like, big ones. Baskets and baskets, and then, like, have pop shelf, pop shelf. I think this is the play. I mean, it's, it's, but again, it's so much money down front. That's an extra day of putting it together, and then rent's double, but. I think we can more pay for it. I'm not going to rent it right now, though. Let's just hope it doesn't go. And something may come open tomorrow. It's just day 90, so we'll just have to pay attention to that and see what happens. But I think I'm going to let the building go or work go on its own right now. I am totally going the wrong way to go home. And uh, just see how they go on their own for the next couple of days. And then we'll check them out. Actually, I think tomorrow i got to work. Do I work Sundays or is it Monday that I work? Double check here. Monday I work. So Sunday, they, they're still there. Okay. So we'll let it go, and then we'll go in Monday morning and just see what kind of, uh, what the place looks like. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go play video games. Because that's my royal right as a business owner. So that was a really good day. We made 45, 45, 75. Now, obviously, we spent a lot of that. No, never mind. We made $6,000. We're paying that girl 35 bucks to clean. And then for something for them. So even though we spent all that money, we still made $4,000 yesterday. I guess I could just look down here at this, but it doesn't have the, uh, I guess it does have their salaries. Yeah. Salaries here. So holy cow, we made a lot of money yesterday. So 6,200 straight up just sets. So that's what I'm saying is I think we move across the street. I think I'll eat at the work. I want to run down here and check it real quick. It is Saturday. Oh my lord, that's a lot of money. So that's, that's what I'm saying. I think we can expand. Oh my god, look how close they got there. I think we can expand to the or not expand. I think we trade out. I don't want to keep this place open. Cause I feel like it's just It's not big enough for what we need right now. Especially since some of the oh, dad's liquor store is still open. Oh, do we want to be right next to Dad's liquor store? Oh, we need to check that out. All right, looks like we need to put some wine and martinis back on the shelf. That's good, because we have martinis laying in the floor back here. I know we got a ton of wine. So yeah, they, they must let the entire thing run out. Before they even uh, do it. We sold a lot of wine yesterday. Glad I stocked up while the, uh, the thing was empty. Alright, so let's clean a little bit. And then uh, I'll look. we'll look at the map and see if anything else has opened up. It may be tomorrow when we work that we'll see if uh, anything else has happened with uh, places we can rent over here. So we're not, we actually want to go across the street here. I want to check out Dad's liquor store and see how big it is and what his setup is. Let's check the map. So that place is still open. Yeah. 
You know, these are all 15 just here. These just aren't big enough for our needs. So it's either this one or the one right here. What I was talking about earlier is when we don't do warehouses. Yeah, there's a ton of warehouses. Oh, there's stuff over here. 30, 23, 75. What in the world? Oh my God, 13,000. How big is this place? Okay, yeah, we're not big enough for that. That is in-game. That I don't even think a liquor store, you could do that. This is like nightclub material. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, let me just not even look. Okay, we want to leave that on, but... Oh my Lord, compared to some of these other ones. Um, okay, the marketing place is closed, so we can't even check that out. So, I think that's the move, is, yeah, I think we might just go right next door to Dad's liquor store here and put him out of business. I think we're already putting a hurt on him across the street. He's going to love us going right next to him. All right, I think we've checked this out before, but I want to see again what he's got rocking. Okay, so, yeah, he's, the place we're looking at is bigger than this one. He's got a very big counter here. He's very posh. See, we could do these triple count, triple things. Can I look at my map from in here? We could do those triple stands. Oh, I'm not allowed to look. Okay, these are different. It's a C1, the one I'm in. Well, I guess it's, I know it's different, but, oh, maybe it's not, because it does. So they have their checkout in the back. See, I would put these shelves here, boom, 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 and just have shelves lined up all through here, pop here, pop here, cigars through the middle like this. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, I'd put my registers over here. So this is the same exact layout that we would be getting. I think they're just wasting a lot of space with their uh, couches and stuff. And I don't think that matters at all in here. I wonder how they freaked out they are with me just standing there watching them. Oh, well, I think we got some ideas. So let's see what we can knock out today money-wise and uh, go from there. I'm still waiting to see in the comments if you all are against me doing this. But I think it's a great idea. Of course, I think all my ideas are great. And we see where that gets me sometimes. Yesterday we only made four thousand dollars after expenses twenty seven ninety seven so not exactly but we are over the thirty thousand mark. I do work today so let's go see what kind of place, what kind of shape the business is in. Like I said, I'm I'm really thinking I'm going to pull the trigger. Really think I'm going to pull the trigger on uh, buying that place person just disappeared. Oh, there they are. I guess that tree made them disappear. Tired of your old wreck of a car? Free winter tires. Oh, I didn't get to see it. See, yeah, it's still over there. I'm just curious. Oh, man. Okay. We definitely need to restock. Bag, soda can, bottle of wine. I didn't need soda. Get everything ready for the day. Very happy with the way the store is turning out, though. Um, let me get this first. Ski. Why do I get the, get the big one? We get some beer and margarita. Look at the skills on that. Still didn't fill up the uh, one thing all the way. But it should be good enough. All right. Just a little bit of cleaning. And we'll be ready to open. 
How do I only have 99%? Oh, there you are. I see you, dirt. Your victory will be flawless. All right, we open at noon today. We do, so I'll go sneak a quick nap and uh, get ready to go before the day starts. Put my paper bags. I forgot. An apple. I'll eat one of you. All right. <clears throat> Let's start the day up right. We'll sit here and rock out, ready to go. Beer America. We're slowly going to take over the city. I guess one of the things I need to uh, double check is make sure on the pricing. Nothing's like. Because at some point, wine will go back down. And we'll have to be ready for that. But for right now, I think we're doing great. I mean, here on 21st, 4th Avenue in the Garment District, we're getting 88 frames per second. 89. I mean, I don't know what more you can ask for. <laughs> Why that pops up, I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm still waiting for the patch. I'm waiting to see what it does. I'm excited about it. I think we got a good nest egg. I just think we need to have a bigger space. And then I think once we have a bigger space, we'll really have to start focusing on the logistics of signing a contract with a company and have them deliver to a warehouse. So we're going to have to get an HR. We're going to have to rent an HR building. We're going to have to rent a warehouse. We're going to have to buy another truck. Um, that's going to be the big ordeal. Well, what's next? I mean, yeah, there's no other story. That's, that's what we're going to have to do. And uh, that's a big cost. That's a big cost. So maybe maybe you all are going to suggest that I wait a little bit longer before we do it. Or do we start pulling the trigger now? Because it's going to be a big... We're going to spend... Probably 20k to move over there with down payments, buying shelving, security will probably come later. We'll have some of it. Um, but it's definitely going to be a... It's going to be a saga. It's going to be a big thing. So maybe we need to nest egg a little bit more before we do that. But I'll leave that up to you all in the comments. Let's just see what we can come through today. My dude's hungry, but he's just got to get over it. He's going to work for another hour. And then we'll set this place up nice and neat for our crew to take over for the rest of the work week. And then we'll have to go buy some more materials and stuff. And like I said, at some point, we, we need to set up a warehouse and get the logistics for that. And I can always put the van there, and we'll just have to walk around by ourselves for a while. Um, but we'll see. It says the place is dirty. How dare you, game? I don't think we're dirty at all. Okay, yeah, we're pretty dirty. But like I said, I think we picked the perfect business to start out with. Your bags, two bottles of wine, soda cans. Make sure everything is perfect for them because I care. I'm a caring manager. Unlike what you all say. Oh, I didn't get, yeah, I did get whiskey. Okay. Um. All right, they are fully stocked and loaded for next week. I think I got everything on the shelf. Yeah, everything's on the shelf for them to do. The place is clean. We'll have to buy cigars midweek. Hopefully the price of those come down a little bit. But other than that, they are good and ready to go. I'm just excited to see like how much money we've made today. I mean, it, was, it Mondays are our slow days. Monday technically could be a day off. 
But uh, I work it myself just to make us some extra money. Yes, yes, you're hungry. I get it. You're going to starve till morning, though, because I'm not feeding you till morning, because we just don't have that kind of money. What do you think this is, my Patreon account? Ha! Ah, that was a good joke, everybody. Did y'all appreciate that? Link's down below. <laughs> All right, let's sleep till morning and see what we get. We'll wake up at... Sleep until seven. See how much money we made after expenses day. 2,400, not bad. That's how you know it's a very slow day. So we made $3,000 the last two days. But those days were pretty good because our expenses were just me. We don't have any investments. Contact your bank for more information. What? Wait, you can invest? Bank. Bank is right here. It opens at 8. Okay. Well, I want to check this out before we end the episode. What do we do at the bank? I want to play the stock market. No, that's not what it would be. If it was the stock market, it wouldn't be the... I know there's the gambling place that everybody goes and you get on the gambling boat or whatever and... It, I think it's right here, yeah. It's this little building here. You go down here and you pay a ticket and you go gamble, but the bank sounds like, uh, which I'm one of those people, the bank is a terrible place to put your money. But what do I know? I'm just some dude sitting upstairs in an attic room recording YouTube videos. Uh, I've already went to the wrong place. No, it's right here. The bank is literally next to us. Jensen Capital. Okay. Let me take a little 30-minute siesta. Okay. Come on. Open up. So what do we got here? Hello, sir. New invest. How can I help you? Loan investment. Select investment fund. Euro energy high. Medium. Negative 5 to 10%. Okay. Franklin US, negative one to three percent or low. You're always gonna make money on that one. So the Euro energy high you can lose money on, but you can make the most. But the other one is you're just gonna constantly make money. I'm gonna put five thousand into that. Thank you so much. The full amount has been invested and you can now see it in your portfolio. What? Oh cool. Well, yeah, okay. That puts us back below 30000 That's a good investment. I'm excited about that. All right. Okay, so you're all's mission. Again, let me know in the comment. Let's see if anything else has opened up here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's the same buildings. Uh, I really think I may pull the trigger on this one next door to Dad's Liquor and... Uh, Blow him out of the water because I think I want to put up two big registers here and just load this place up for that. And then maybe we start something else in this building since we have it. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know in the comments. Again, the other one is still this one down here. Oh, I almost hit rip building. That would have been bad. Which has more storage. I just don't necessarily know if we need more storage at this point. I mean, that one's a little bit cheaper, but. The traffic and customer index is different. I mean, it's the same foot traffic, but the uh, car traffic is a little bit more. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out, though. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephen Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.